Hi folks, um, this is part 7 in the series dollar sign expansion. This one is a fairly simple one, so again if we press Ctrl Alt and V to go into our variable overview, what we'll do is we'll create a new variable called e.metric, click OK. Then in the definition we'll just say dollar one and then in parentheses say dollar two. This will make sense in a moment, so we click OK, and then in the text object just say equals e metric. We'll wrap that in the sign expansion, and then in place of dollar one we put sum, and then for comma for the second parameter the dollar two. So this is going to be sum of sales. So if we click apply, you'll see it's given us the total sum of sales. We can say then just change this to max, it gives the max sales, change this to say min, give us the min sales, or um, change it from sales to purchases to give us the main purchases or change that to max. The max forces. So you can see just a very simple use case of using the dollar sign expansion. So dollar one to for the the expression or the summarization, as in sum, average, min, max, and dollar two for the metric, as in profit, purchases, or sales. That's pretty much it. I hope that helps. I'll see you next video. Cheers.